So we're placing a butterfly catheter to deliver our injectable anesthetic. Um, all patients have the same setup every day and we check and make sure that the butterfly catheter is working appropriately and then give our injectable anesthetics. We use propofol for most of our patients. It's nice because it is a short acting anesthetic and rapidly induces general anesthesia for us to be able to place an endotracheal tube and then maintain them on a gas anesthetic. Uh, it's also very safe, which is one of the reasons we like it for our patients and can be used even when we have other health concerns. So after our patients are asleep, we place an endotracheal tube to secure their airway and make sure we can deliver oxygen and our gas anesthetic, which keep, then keeps them asleep for the whole radiation therapy treatment. Radiation therapy treatments will last anywhere from about six to seven minutes to to maybe 20 to 30 minutes. You'll see our patient here on our treatment table and we are hooking uh, her up to oxygen and her gas anesthetic and checking to make sure that um, our tube is securely in place and that is, it is sealed appropriately. We hook all of our patients up to monitoring equipment so we can keep track of their vitals while they're asleep. Um, because we can't be in the room during the actual radiation therapy treatment itself. We actually have cameras on all of our monitoring equipment in our patient that we can see from outside of the room. So our patient right now is in some positioning equipment. The white T-shaped pillow you can see under her neck, it conforms to the underside of their jaw and their neck to keep them in the same position every day. Our anesthesia technician just pops into the screen there and she's give, applying lubrication to our patient's eyes because not every patient will completely close their eyes during anesthesia. So we want to make sure their corneas are nice and lubricated. Um, additional positioning equipment you can see on the table here, there is a, um, a black positioning equipment tray underneath the white tea pillow as well. There is a blue and yellow custom made bite mold that we can see right here. This is made uh, unique for each patient. So this one's specific for this patient right here and their teeth fit um, perfectly into their bite block. So this will keep their head and neck in the same position every day of their treatments. Um, and this patient's getting 20 days of treatment. So um, every single day we got them in the same position and this bite mold helps with that. Oh, we also have a thermoplastic mask. So this mask is rigid when it's uh, dry and when you put it in hot water it will become malleable. So we put these in hot water and mold them again custom to each individual patient and it fits to their uh, skull and muzzle and um, this also attaches to everything attached to the table. So this is what we call semi-rigid immobilization and we do this for every single patient that's getting targeted radiation therapy. Our radiation therapist is lifting the table now and putting our patient into start position for their treatment. You can see some green lasers coming out of the walls and then those green lasers line up to some crosshairs that we've put on, on the positioning equipment. So from here, we are ready to take an image of this patient before we treat them. And this is another way of confirming that they are aligned up and we're treating their tumor and we're not treating anything we shouldn't be. The machine is rotating into position to take those images now. And you're gonna see these two panels coming out. They look like arms embracing the table. Those are what we call a comb beam CT scanner. So it's actually developing a CT images, very similar to how we take a CT prior to radiation therapy. So this is our treatment station. Um, Ty, uh, you can keep going, Ty. I'm just gonna talk while you do okay. stuff. Yeah. So the first thing that we do after we have the patient positioned in the room is we close the doors. Um, for safety purposes, nobody can be in the room while radiation is being delivered. And Ty is running a, a CT scan right now. So you can see the images popping up on the right side of your screen right there, we're zooming in. Um, so this will reconstruct and you'll see a CT scan in a few seconds um, and 
the CT scan that we do today, we then line it up to the scan that we did before we started treatment. And that's how we make sure that we are treating the tumor and we're avoiding uh, as all the normal structures that we possibly can. While we check the setup, um, our anesthesia technician goes back into the vault to monitor anesthesia. And part of the planning process is um, the radiation oncologist will outline all the normal structures into different colored um, lines. So you can see there's different colors on the screen there, outlining skin and brain and bones. So Ty was checking to make sure everything lined up and it looked good. Um, that's our anesthesia monitoring equipment that we have on a camera. So we can see our ventilator as well as all of our vitals on there. So while we don't have staff in the vault, we can still make sure that our patients are safely anesthetized and they're not about to wake up or anything like that. Um, so Ty is moting up the machine. You're going to see the machine on the camera there rotating around so it's going to starting position. And when the machine starts you'll hear a beeping sound. So now the beam is being delivered. You zoom out just a little bit, Kathy. Down here, that is a, a view onto the inside of the machine and we're delivering radiation out of that very, very tiny little square there in the middle. So it's extremely precise when we treat brain tumors. We wanna make sure that we're hitting the tumor and that hardly any normal brain if we can avoid it. And then while that is opening and closing, the machine is rotating around the patient. This is called volumetric arc therapy, uh, and it's one of the newer uh, techniques that has come out in the last five to 10 years in radiation oncology. And that's it. That was the whole treatment, and we're all done now.